Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. Today, hum day, middle of the week. And here we focus on prayer as believers. We need to pray. Prayer is our daily bread, our daily sustenance. Without it, we faint. We fall. We are unconscious spiritually. We need to pray. And we give God thanks for intercessors, for prayer warriors, for those of us believers who dedicated themselves to pray, praying always with all prayer, supplication. And today as we focus on prayer, we declare prayer is a work of the spirit and not the flesh. For our prayers to be effectual, fervent, we must pray the word of God and not just mere words. As people of God, we must learn the word of God. I said that again. We must learn the word of God. We must read it, meditate, seek to understand the word of God. It's the word of God that works. It is the word of God that cleanses us, that washes us. It is the word of God that sanctifies us. It prepares us to pray, to pray right and righteous. It is the word of God that works according to Hebrews 4 verse 12. It's quick, it's powerful, it's sharper. And any two-edged sword, it pairs, even dividing asunder of soul and spirit. It is the word of God that discerns the thoughts and intents of the heart. We need the word to cleanse us, to help us so that we may pray according to the will of God. Our meditation comes from Acts 4, verse 24 to 30. We're going to read a few verses, but I want us to read it intentionally today with the understanding of praying according to the word and results will follow. We find that the apostles, after being released, instead of seeking a lawyer or going on social media and making it a blast, they did otherwise. Verse 23 says, And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lift up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which had made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in it who by the mouth of thy servant David had said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? And I pause here to say, they actually was praying Psalm 2. They grabbed the word of God and prayed it in this situation believed it, allow the word to wash over them, to cleanse them, to motivate them, to cause their faith to rise. That's what we need to do in this season. And verse 31, I want us to focus on this day. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. The word of God to the people of God. Won't he do it again? Ah, yes, he will. But we must pray the word in situation and circumstances. And I encourage us today, I dare us today, read the word with understanding, seek God. As we read the word and then apply it in your prayer and watch God work. Your situation may not be mine. Mine may not be yours. 
but you know exactly where you are as a believer. You know your struggles, you know your shortcomings. Apply the word. You know what the enemy is doing to you. Apply the word. Watch God work. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So let's go prayer warriors today. Let's cry. Our crime is high, out of control. We need solution. Prayer makes a difference. Families in disarray. Challenges. Anger is high. Let's pray. Lawlessness everywhere. But we need to pray. Systems are failing. But prayer works. Let's pray. Let's believe God today. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you we can apply your word. It's the most powerful weapon defense system. It stands forever. From the beginning your word declared and today it still exists. And so we apply your word as believers today to every situation, every circumstance. That means we must read your word. Allow it to wash over us. Obey your word. Allow it to sanctify us. So that we may be praying. God will hear. And the windows of heaven will open. The place where we will be at will be shaken. We need a shaking today in our communities. As we tread the streets, as we drive, may we declare Jesus, may we declare your word so that situations can be dissolved. We can interrupt the enemy's plan. We can push it back for the glory of God. We give you thanks. For those who lead the nations today, we pray that they pray, including our prime ministers and all of parliament, their families, that they pray. Lead us everywhere that we pray that we seek you according to your word. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. We thank you that no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. Yes, we expect the enemy to push back, but great is he that is in us, he that is in the word. Thank you for prayer warriors. Thank you. Thank you, God, for intercessors. So we seek you today in prayer and watch your work. What you turn it around, we give you praise, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen. Let's pray, prayer warriors, let's pray intercessors. God wants to shake it, but we got to give him instructions. We got to give heaven instructions to make the difference. Let's do it today. Have a great prayer day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.